guys, it's Jennifer of Little Shelf, and this is in my mailbox. So I haven't had a vlog in a while for lots of reasons, being lazy, um, not having time to do it, and also my sister-in-law is in town. So I haven't recorded any vlogs in a while, so since my um, in my mailbox is late anyways, I thought I would do one today. So first I want to start off with, um, I won a whole bunch of arcs on Katie's book blog. So I won this whole box of books from her. And the book that I am super most excited for probably this whole year is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I think it's Mafi, but I know I'm saying Tahara right. Um, anyway, so um, I've already fangirled about this book a couple times on my blog, and I noticed that Katie was doing um, an advanced review copy um, giveaway of like eight books. So, and it had Shatter Me on it. So, I entered, and I actually won, which I'm really surprised. So I may have squealed out loud when I saw her email. Um, yay, Shatter Me. So, that's the next book that I plan on reading. Um, and I also got The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Um, I know that people have been pining after this book quite a bit. And it sounds awesome, so I can't wait to read this one, too. Um, I got Dead Rules by Randy Russell. And this one's already out. Um, I got Eve by Anna Carey. This one sounds exciting, too. Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey. I really like the cover of this one, I think. Ten Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have by Sarah Malinowski. Um, this one I've seen around on a lot of people's blogs and I've heard um, mostly really great things about, so yay! And also, by Claudia Gl <laughs> sorry, by Claudia Gray, it's Fateful. Um, I'm really excited to get this one because um, I haven't read any of her books yet, but she's going to be here for a signing in um, the very end of September for the Smart Chicks Kick It Tour. Um, you should check that out. I have a link on my sidebar on my blog all about that tour because a whole bunch of authors are um, going to be on that one. So, woo! Thanks, Katie. Okay, so next, I, um, on another blog, I won Possession by Alana Johnson. And let me see if I'm signed. And this one in person, I can't really see on here, but it's really white and shimmery and very pretty. And I won it from uh, Mrs. Boswell's book blog from Kira. It's her little card. Isn't it cute? I should get a little card to give people that. Thanks, Kira. Can't wait for this one. It sounds awesome. Okay. And then I bought two books this week. The first one that I bought is I found... Um, a copy of Beauty Queens by Libba Bray used in super awesome condition so I picked it up. And this one's kind of like a Lord of the Flies but with Beauty Queens and um, I've heard good things about Libba and uh, I haven't read any of her books so I'm really excited to give this one a try. So then I also got one more book because it's my last 40% um, off coupon ever for Borders very sad, but I had to get a book. I had to use it. Um, so I got Linger by Maggie Steve Otter. It's the second book. Um, oh shoot, what is this series called? I can't remember. Um, doo -doo -doo, I don't know. <laughs> but it's the second book in the series. Um, Shiver was the first one. And um, I've been seeing this all over um, the internet lately because uh, Forever, the, the last and third book in the series just came out. And what's really cool about these books is so Shiver is blue and inside the font is like a gray blue and Linger is green so the font inside here. I don't know if you can tell this but it's green and I, I didn't even notice the first time I was reading this that it was blue but really neat and then red is the color of Forever. Um, but it's not like a really annoying red. It's kind of like a like a dark like a burgundy color. Um, but yeah, so I read Shiver last year, and I thought it was okay. I thought it was good, but I don't know. 
if maybe I just read it at a weird time and I didn't like it um, as much as I thought I would. Um, it was really good, but parts of it I thought were kind of slow. But since I've been hearing nothing but uh, things about this series, I thought I would pick up Shiver and, I mean, Linger and give it another try. So that's all I got for this week, but I do want to show you guys um, a couple of the signed books that I got last week. They were on my email mailbox, but I just kind of want to show you the signatures anyways. So the first one was um, I went to Suzanne Young signing, and I know I'm really late on putting up pictures and talking about her signing, but it's because my sister-in-law was in town, so I will get that up soon. But um, I got a book signed by her. She was so cute and so funny, nice and awesome. Um, and then I got a few bookmarks, and they're signed by her too. So I figure I can keep one and maybe give the other two away in a giveaway or with the next book I give away or something. And then I also got a button for a Need So Beautiful. I don't know why my camera doesn't focus. It's way back here. Um, but really pretty. And it also came with sticker that says Destiny and a sticker that says I Need So Beautiful. Very pretty. And I haven't read it yet, but it sounds amazing and I'm, I really can't wait to open that one up. And then, um, at Suzanne signing, um, the author of Tiger's Purse happened to be there, so I went up to her and asked her um, if I went and bought her co a copy of her book right there, if she'd sign it for me, and she did. So, she signed it. Isn't this such a pretty, pretty book? It's so heavy. Very bulky. Um, but just, just lovely. Lovely, lovely book. And so she gave me a little bookmark too and signed it and super nice. She actually had a signing um, two days after Suzanne's, but since I already ditched my family and my sister-in-law to um, go to Suzanne's signing, I couldn't go to both. So yay for running into her there. And then um, I showed this book last week and I actually just reviewed it, but um, I got a beautiful finished copy of Wildfire. And I think this is one of the prettiest books I have like, ever seen, I think. And it's really kind of soft. And it's so pretty. And so I had to show you guys. Um, this was the first book that I've ever actually gotten from a publisher. And they sent me a finished copy. And I was so excited. And my husband had no idea and didn't understand why I was so excited to get a book. But it was from Simon & Schuster. And they sent me a book. Yay! All right, so I think that's it. Um, that was my week and a half or so <laughs> in books. Um, what did you get?